We're going to take the seat belts out of this F30 and I'm going to replace them with red ones. Since the seat belts are part of the SRS system, we want to actually disconnect the power um, from the battery. In order to do that, um, obviously we got to take the, the negative terminal and disconnect it. But first, what I want to do is just so we have a better chance of getting to everything, let me show you what I'm looking at. So we're going to be working on the front seats. I'm going to move the seats all the way forward. Just keep in mind, we're going to be wanting to get into this location here and behind the B pillar over here. So we want to give ourselves as much room as possible um, with the seats. So we're going to do that now. Because once you disconnect the battery, you're not going to have any power to do that. Okay, seats are both forward as much as they can go. Uh, battery is disconnected. A little Pet Shop Boy CD is between the battery and the negative cable. Make sure it doesn't make contact. Um, I put a towel right here. You don't want to close your trunk because battery's in the trunk. Trunk is uh, electronic, so obviously you won't be able to get back in it. So we get right in here. And I want to pop that up. It's just plastic. It's held on like that. And we've got a 50 a T50 Torx. So here's what I've done. Taking this out. It's right there in the seat. That should just hang freely now. Next thing we want to do is take these trim pieces off. So I'm going to carefully pry it up here. And what I did, I kind of put some pressure with my palm here and then pulled up on the edge, but doesn't separate that enough to get it off those clips. So that's one piece. And behind this rubber seal, is how we get this piece off here. I'm just pulling out. Hopefully without breaking any of the clips. comes out you can see there's two clips that hold it down and then the clips towards the bottom so take those out let's get the rest of this out slide by it. Put that bolt back in so I know where it came from. There you go. So, so with that, I've got the whole assembly removed. Um, 
with the exception of this cable. So this piece here flipped up. I stuck the screwdriver underneath it. Pulled up on it a little bit. And once you do that, you just wiggle that loose and it comes out. And there's what the end looks like. Once you've done that, all the bolts are off. You're free to take it out of the car now. Okay, so we've got the front seat belts out and we're ready to get working on the back seat belts. There's three belts back here, one on each side and one in the middle. First thing we need to do is remove the back seat. Um, the bottom part of it, really easy to move, uh, remove. All you do is grab a hold of it in the front, um, down on each side, and give it a nice big pull. And then it just slides out. Feed the belt buckles through it. Carefully remove it. So once it's removed, it's probably a good time to clean up all the Cheetos and french fries and whatever else your kids may have dropped in the bottom here. So what I'll be doing is removing the belt buckles down here. And then there's um, the belts in the front. And then I've got to get to the back here. Um, up a little bit, I get a different camera angle to uh, get the top part of the seat out, so we can get to the the actual uh, seat belt mechanisms. All right, and here we are in the back seat. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use this T50, and I'm going to remove the buckles. So one like that it's gonna fit back into that little square as you can see and then there's a hole so and I'm gonna put the bolts as I go I'm gonna put the bolts back in where they came from just so I can keep track of them so those are removed not a penny Loosen up this belt over here as well. Okay, so again, T fifty there, T fifty here. T50 here, T50 over here. Got another one here for the center belt. And we're gonna get these bolts here. There's one there, one there. Okay, so once they got the uh, screws down here removed from the seat, You've got to lift up really hard on the corners, on both sides of the corners on the bottom, and then uh, lift up. What that does is it unclips two things at the bottom uh, on each side, and then there's, um, I'll show you when I get it all the way out, but there's clips right about here, um, you know, right, right in here somewhere on the back that are holding it all in. I've got one of those clips off already, and uh, the other one is proving to be a 
bit of a pain in the hay, but <laughs> so um, I'm gonna keep working on this and hopefully they can come off here in a second. So there we go. All right, so let me get this out of here and I'll show you what the clips are. There's two clips right here at the top. That one over there is one that was giving me a hard time. And they sit on here. And then the bottom piece holding it in. There's a little clip here. And that tucks back behind this on each side. And then once that's down, and they bolt right to here. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking uh, this piece off here is covering the seat belt. Uh, looks like this back piece is going to have to come off the interior of the trim, um, and also the the deck, uh, rear deck. So I'm going to pop out these rivets. I took one out already. And what you want to do is see how it's like this. See if we can get it. Just put your finger or something in it. Pull the center piece out, and it should be ready to be coaxed out. I'm gonna use some of these pry tools, see if I can get under it. Help coax it out, there we go. So I've got two of them. One came over here, one came from there. Uh, there's one hiding right here. And there's one here, here, and then under there as well. So I'm gonna take those off. Uh, I won't be talking while I'm doing that. So what you want to do is get the rubber peeled away from this because it's going to hold it in a little bit and you need to start pulling this off. There should be a clip around here somewhere. try to pull this up towards the roof and it should come up there we go perfect okay so a couple things to note you want to make sure that this clip here is not damaged and this one make sure it's not damaged there's one here missing so hopefully it fell down in there somewhere or I'll have to run to the dealership and replace it if I can't find it. So we're gonna take that piece off. Um, let's get this little part so I can look for that other clip. All right, so now so there's a bolt right here. Um, holding that together. Okay, apparently it's not a 10. I'm going to see what side it is, and uh, that's just an 8. This is an 8 millimeter. Um, little self-tapping screw so you should be able to find that easily enough at the dealership. 
this should pull out. Okay, both speakers are loose. Now, just need to get the metal seat belt out of there. Feed that through. My bike rack is coming in handy today. Okay, we are looking like we're in the home stretch of at least removing all this stuff. We're gonna take a T50. And remove the bolts holding these in. seatbelt. So I'm going to box up all of these parts and send them off to the company that's doing the webbing replacement. Okay, so I'll pack these off uh, camera and um, we'll be ready to ship them out. Been at the task of uh, editing these videos. It looks like I'm gonna, I, I thought I might, but I, I, I'm gonna do it for sure. Do two videos, because the videos are getting kind of long. The video that you just watched is me actually taking the, the seat belts out, the black seat belts that came with the car. The next video is gonna be actually me getting the uh, seat belts back from Safety Restore and the red webbing is in them. I'm gonna put that in the next video. Um, this little person here is Zolife. Uh, she's got her own gaming channel and channel for stuff that she does. Uh, so I'll, I'll leave a link as well for that. Um, anyway, so please do me a favor, like and subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uh, videos and put in the comments below what you thought of the video, what you think of uh, Anything that I could have done better, uh, whether it be just technically working on the cars or anything in the video making or editing process. So, all right, thank you again for Make watching. Make sure to like and subscribe down below. Hit the notification so you never miss a video of my dad. Anyways, boy. Thank you. All right, bye.